Hey everyone, you 6000 here, and today I'm back with another Wi-Fi battle versus my best friend Michael. But before that, I'm going to mention that I'm going to be doing a Pokemon Emerald version walkthrough soon. So stay tuned for that, and I may not be that as good because I don't know where every hidden item is and stuff like that. You know what I mean, it's going to be my first walkthrough. But I'll also be doing a Fire Red and Pearl one soon. So let's get right into the battle. So I start off by just showing this because, you know, I'm still editing my videos so I can talk longer in the beginning. So I don't mess up or anything. So, Alright, so the battle begins. You are challenged by Ichigo. That's what he named because we all like Bleach. So he starts out with the shiny Charizard and his Dragonite. And then I start out with my shiny Gloom and my Bronzong. My friend found a wa random shiny Oddish and he traded me for, I forget, a Suicune. I think I gave him. I'm going to give him soon or something like that. So his Charizard starts out with a flamethrower, and luckily my Bronzong does not get knocked out by it. I was really happy, really happy. So um, then um, his Dragonite uses a Dragon Rush on my Gloom, which I also get lucky, and it doesn't get knocked out either. So I get a Sleep Powder on his Charizard. I was actually taking this double battle to test out my Bronzong and Gloom, which is soon to be Vile Gloom. Um, double sleep team. Unfortunately, my hypnosis missed with my bronze on first, so kind of sucked. But luckily, his dragon rush missed, so now my Pokemon got knocked out. So I use a secret power on um, um, his Charizard just to get a little bit. So I use Trick Room, so I can set up a Trick Room, so I can go a lot faster than anyone, any of his Pokemon. So I get a Dream Eater down his Charizard, does a nice amount of damage. I recommend if you have a Bronzong, make sure he knows Trick Room, or at least he's on, or he's with another Pokemon that knows Trick Room. So my um, Bronzong does a nice amount of damage on his Charizard with that Dream Eater. So I get lucky, and my Sleep Powder hits on his um, Ryu or his Zabi Maru, which is his um, Dragonite. So now both his Pokemon are asleep. So I guess it kind of worked out good right here. I got lucky with the miss that his Dragonite had. So he's a Dream Eater on his Dragonite to get its HP down. So, yeah. I use an Acid because this Gloom doesn't know the best of moves. And I was going to knock out his Charizard with it, and luckily I get a critical hit. So that was good on my part, but bad on his. <laughs> so, um, this is just like, um, a test battle. So we start, he sends out his Metagross, and I use a Dream Eater again on his, um, Dragonite. So I can get its HP down a little bit more. So it doesn't knock it out fully, but it gets it down there. So I use, um, a Secret Power, which turns into a Body Slam on his Dragonite. I get another critical hit. And, well, it doesn't knock it out, but, I mean, you know, it gets close. So, his Dragonite wakes up and finishes off my Gloom. So, that's not really good. But luckily, with Dream Eater, my, um, Bronzong got its HP up a lot. So, I send out my, um, Infernape. And I used Strength because, because I was EV training this Bronzong, and it didn't know any... I had to use Hypnosis and Dream Eater, because that's its only attack move. So I taught it, I deleted Confuse Ray for um, strength so I could defeat some Pokemon without, so I gotta get rid of that soon. So, Bronzong's Levitate, he gets to miss that Earthquake, but it hits Infernape, which it does not knock it out, it does about half. So he's a Blast Burn on his Metagross to knock it out, which I was happy here. So yeah. This is kind of, it's not really that fun, boring, uh, narrating when the battle is kind of slow like this, because it goes a lot more slower. But I didn't want to speed it up because it was a double battle and I didn't want to, like, get mixed up with everything, you know, like, going super fast, oh, move, move, move. It would have just been a fail. I just got to say, it would have been an epic fail. Just an epic fail. Not good. I hate epic fails. I always get epic fails. I hope you guys don't think I'm an epic fail, though. 
even though that I just said that you probably do. So his Salamance does a fire blast on my um, Bronzong to take it out, unfortunately. And my Infernape had to recharge, so that wasn't good on my hand either. So his Blastoise uses a Hydro Pump and knocks out Infernape, sadly. Very sad. Bye-bye, Infernape. I just love that my Infernape. It's just totally awesome. So now I send out my Garchomp, which I don't use a lot. Well, I don't want to use a lot. And then I send out my Latios to see how good it could do. It actually pulled through for me. And yes, I know Garchomp and Latios are both like Ubers, as you say. Especially Latios and most of you guys' cases. I gotta forgot what it's Uber for. Oh well. Salamence uses Dragon Breath on Garchomp to get it down. And I used a Psychic on his Blastoise. I don't really like sl going this slow like this, but I don't care. Man, my Latias is on a roll here. And Garchomp on that one. They both avoid the Blizzard. So then I get another Psychic down on his Blastoise. And you gotta see how awesome my Latias does here. Alright, so Outrage luckily hits Salamence. I didn't know if it was going to hit Blastoise or Salamence, so it takes out the Salamence with that Outrage. Yeah. So, man, I, I can't wait to do my Emerald walkthrough. I'm going to start part one tonight. It just, it's going to be so fun. Alright, so his Salamence is down, and look at this. Latias avoids the Blizzard again, but unfortunately Garchomp doesn't. So, bye-bye Garchomp, and go Latias. can't believe how much Latias pulled through for me here. I would have lost the battle if it wasn't for those sleep things in the beginning and uh, this. Alright, so I send out my prototype, which is my Weavile, and luckily he sends out Garchomp. So, yeah, I, I get an... I, er, Latias is faster than Weavile, so a miss ball goes down on... Blastoise to take it out. Luckily, it did take it out. And there, the tripod just got hit. Oh, well. Go, Ice Punch. Boom. Oh, got hit again. Got hit again. God. Man, did I just sound like a Brit there? Oh, God. Not again. So, that's pretty much the end of the battle. I take out his um, Garchomp. And I apologize for this video being so long because I didn't speed it up. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and watch my Emerald walkthrough coming up, and I'll see you guys later.